In this video, we will talk about how skinny guys and girls could gain weight in 5 easy steps. Even though skinny people are fewer than um, overweight people in the world, they suffer physically and mentally because of their weight. Guys, this is a very very relatable video for me because I know what it feels like um, going out and then having everybody look at you like you're a masquerade just because of your weight or how you look. Even people you know will always be like, why are you so skinny or don't you eat at all? Some of them will be like, guy, this one with the slim like this, you sure say you well. It's hard trying to answer these questions, but what is even harder is trying to deal with the pain that comes with it, be it physically or mentally. Before I show you how to go from this to this, first let's talk about what it means being an underweight person and see if it's the same thing as being skinny. To be underweight means your body weight is too low to lead a functional and healthy lifestyle. What this simply means is that if you are underweight, you are likely to suffer from plenty medical problems. I mean the fact that losing weight should tell you that one year you are not okay. So Kosi, what is the average body mass index to determine if I'm underweight or not? Calm down one year, we'll answer this in a short while but first let's talk about what it means to be skinny. Well, a skinny person is a healthy person with a body mass index of close to 18.5 or more. Yep, that is the average body mass index for a healthy person and if you are under 18.5 BMI, then um, you need to up your weight. Okay, that was easy to understand, right? And um, since we've gotten that out of the way, here are 5 easy steps to gain weight. But um, before we continue, for happiness and constant videos like this one, do click on that subscribe button, also turn on the bell icon so you get to know when we upload videos like this one and many more. One of the easiest ways to gain weight is to increase your calorie intake and to do this you need to eat more at each meal and eat more often. What I did was to eat more than 3 times a day and even eat snacks in between meals. What you'll do is that whenever you sit down to eat, make sure you eat until you are full or even to the point of being stuffed. Uh. The key here like I said is to eat more calorie than your body can burn and if you are eating and not gaining weight, that means you are not eating enough. So here's an expo for you, you can make a schedule for yourself like an eating schedule. You can use the calendar on your phone or you can use the alarm clock so you don't forget to eat. Low volume foods are options that pack a lot of calories in smaller portions. This means that one day you can consume a lot more energy without having to eat large quantities. Getting more energy in smaller packages is more easier than trying to live off salads but this does not mean that you have to depend on junk food either. There are plenty of healthy foods that can support your increased needs. You can try sugar and honey and maple syrup. Proteins like milk and yogurt are also a good place to start. You know in primary school we are taught that proteins are bodybuilding food. I remember reciting this particular line until it stuck with me and became part of me. Now eating more food is the key to gaining weight but the amount of protein you eat is also important because it is the building block for most of your entire body especially your muscles. So look for opportunities to add protein to every meal and snack. You could add protein powder to your foods like milkshake and pancakes. You could also swap your sour cream for Greek yogurt. Exercises like curls and flies are just wasting your time and if you are very very serious about gaining weight then you should try weight compounds like squats and deadlift. This is because they push more strength and muscle gains to gain weight. There is no such thing as growth or progress or change without consistency when the results don't happen overnight. And like every other habit, gaining weight is not just something you can put on and off for weeks and expect massive results. Staying consistent is the most difficult and yet Yet the most important part of sticking to a nutritional plan but at the end if you really want results then you have to be patient you have to be consistent then so the up and down of weight gain is to number one build your foundation number two keep training regularly number three focus on your diet and get it right number four try to be patient and your results will come so guys, I really appreciate you taking your time out to watch me on this piece. Honestly, of the millions of creators on YouTube, you chose to watch Chris Emanuel. It means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And if you've not joined this channel, if you've not subscribed, then consider doing it right TV. It tells me that I'm building an audience and then creating helpful content for people. It will help me keep making amazing and educational videos like this one. And um, if you're wondering how to lose weight as you sleep, then these five foods will help you burn fat while you sleep. See you there.